of the major takeaways from my maternal and infant health work through Nurture NJ uh, has been that there truly is no separation between our day-to-day -day life experiences, our physical health, and our mental health. Um, everything from our living situation, uh, you know, our stress level, our nutrition, our nutrition, our relationships, and yes, uh, access to transportation works together to build a complex and web of factors that, that truly influence our overall health and well-being. And as complex as that web has become, uh, oftentimes the solution is a simple one. And today's unveiling of these two buses is a, a perfect example of that. It's, it's also a perfect example of how when there is collaboration and communication between government agencies, including between state and local authorities, uh, common sense solutions are created and people's lives improve. Um, this is truly government at its best. And it's, it's the spirit behind the broad spectrum of policies our administration has sought to implement. Uh, but specifically, within the scope of mental health policy, we are working across government to ensure every New Jerseyan has access to the resources and services that they need just to thrive. Uh, one of our most significant achievements is investing over $100 million in the Department of Children and Families um, Children's System of Care, which provides behavioral health services to youth under the age of 21, including through mobile response and stabilization services. Um, most importantly, I want to note that DCF's Children's System of Care provides services and connections to behavioral health. I've got a bunch of tongue twisters in here today. Uh, behavioral uh, health providers um, at no charge to the family, regardless of insurance uh, and citizenship status. These services can include uh, community-based in-home and out-of-home residential treatment, um, substance use treatment and intellectual and developmental uh, disability services. For too long, the topic of mental health uh, held such incredible stigma that it was simply just literally not discussed. Uh, I am really relieved to see that has begun to change, um, in great part thanks to uh, this generation of young people. Uh, now, not only do we have access to these essential and life-saving services, but we also have helplines that are dedicated to assisting families in crisis. Uh, second Floor is a confidential and anonymous helpline for New Jersey's youth and young adults between the ages of 10 to 24 that provides support for any number of challenges they are facing. Um, this helpline is available via phone, text, and chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, um, and I want to make sure that everyone here knows how to access it. Um, the web address is secondfloor.org, and the phone number for calls and texts is 888-222-2228. Uh, Why do I know that? Because my husband and I started that helpline 20 years ago, so I'm glad to see the number hasn't changed in this three or four years.